Oh my gosh, did I just break my brand new pump? Don't you let me, don't you let me down. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. I've been promising you this for weeks and it's finally here. We are adding some flow to this reef tank. Before we get into this, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We're posting new fish videos every single Friday. So earlier this week, I stopped by a... Uh, a gas station and I met a strange person from offer up and I picked up a nice new MP10. Hey, not new, but it is the newest version, the W Quiet Drive, you know, because only the best of the best for my Red Sea over here. I've been wanting flow for a while because I have the Sino building on the thing, I have the stuff on the thing, the other stuff on the other thing, and it's like, you know. Maybe Flo will fix it, maybe not, and if it doesn't, I'll just sell it. This pump right here, multiple reasons I wanted it. Number one, because it is the most badass pump on the market, I think, or at least the one I've heard of the most. Number two, I have Radeon XR30 Pros in the hood of my fish tank, which means I can control my pumps and my lights on one EcoSmart Live app, which is key. Other than that, it's a $300 pump and I knew I could find a deal on it, so I just waited. Guy had it listed for $225, he dropped it to $200. I said, hey listen, I only got $150, bucks. I know you're probably going to want to wait and get more, but just let me know. Boom. Next day, he says, hey, I'll take the $150 plus two of your corals. I had two corals in here, jack-o'-lantern, little, little baby, little baby frag, and a uh, Hollywood Stunner, also baby frag. Frickin' Sure, dude. Sounds good. 150 plus the two frags. Sold. Take it off the market. So I picked up the pump, and then I got home, and I noticed that this was ripped off. So I was looking for the manufacturer date, and it's not there. There's no serial number or nothing. So I was like, great. I picked up some black market version of this MP10 pump from uh, Ecotech. But I... I cheated a little bit before this video and I plugged it up to the app just because I wanted to find out if it was legit or not. And I found the serial number and then I messaged into Ecotech and they confirmed that it was the newest version of the MP10WQD. So we are all good, folks. I think the best spot that we're gonna put it is on this left side of my tank here because it's like an awkward little cave. Nobody really walks by there. This side kind of leads to a hallway and I don't really want that to be seen. Like, you know, when you're walking, to the tank. So I think this side will be the best. I really don't know if there's a certain like specific height or depth you're supposed to put it in. I'm thinking, you know, just nice like right here so that way it shoots all the way across. And that's kind of what, that's, that's what I'm gonna just do and play it by ear. The other thing is I really have to keep an eye on it because other than my sand bed getting dirty and like from my phosphates being high, Everything else seems to grow really good in my tank, so if, you know, my Zoas and my other stuff start to not do good, then it's probably because there's too much flow and I gotta take it out. Kinda run my wires. I watched a couple videos, they said to kinda like, do the wire up so that way it just kinda be ran down through there. Run this guy through here. Ah, uh, that's too far, I can't reach it there. You know, leave it to Bianca to be throwing around a $300 pump. Hey, but I got it. We got him on this side. So placement is key. Just kidding, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. How does that guy look right there? That's pretty legit, right? Oh my god, magnets scare me. It's so crazy that this is going to hold the pressure that this thing gives you. That's it, like that. This is gonna be another video pretty soon because I can't deal with these wires. So here's the uh, quiet drive. Hey, doser setup, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you watch my doser video. And then I think we go, uh, I gotta plug this up. All right, green means go. Hey, it's spinning, it's spinning. It's spinning and my fish don't know what the hell's going on. They're scared. Wow, this thing is so quiet. You can't even tell that it's on. That's impressive. 
I thought for sure it was gonna be really annoying. I guess they don't call it a quiet drive for nothing. And we could crank her up below the, oh my God, look at all this stuff. I see a bunch of stuff floating around. Blue, I don't know what blue does. I have an idea. I'm gonna go get my phone and hook up the EcoSmart Live so we can actually read what we're doing. Like I said, I kind of cheated already and put the Vortex on here, but Vortex. So, do you tap for mode? Okay. So when I do tap it here, it changes. You see the color change. But I don't know what to do here, guys. Oh, look. The bubble tips. Maybe that's too strong. Oh, look, we're getting some movement over here. We're getting some movement. What if I go max? Is that too much? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. So max does not stick, guys. Max does not stick. Let's, let's power this guy down. That's not good. We're going to want to avoid max power. Max power just rockets it off the glass and sends it all to the floor. I hope it's not broken. Okay, we got him back up. It's working. That's good. So yeah, what we learned from that is do not put it that high. Whoa. It's making noise now. It was super quiet before and now it is making a noise. Um, I'm just going to take it off real quick and like push the parts in, I don't know. Did I break it already? I swear, all my videos should just be titled do How Not To. I don't hear anything off. This thing still feels, sounds freaking st sturdy as shit. Everything looks intact. So this guy, I'm pretty sure this is just normal play. I don't think the sound is coming from here. Let's power it up. There it goes. Hey, I fixed it. I fixed it, it's quiet again, so it wasn't, it definitely, something happened when it fell, you know, six feet to the ground. Yeah, that's like four feet, but whatever. I think I'm gonna stop playing with it now. Dang, it's back. If I cranked it up to 50% and now you hear it again, listen. So that for sure could be just the normal sound of this pump. I don't know, cause I've never, I've never had an MP10 or been in a room with an MP10. So if that is the normal pumping sound, drop a comment down below, let me know. If that is completely not normal and it's supposed to be silent how it was when I first turned it on, drop a comment, let me know. If I completely screwed up this project from the beginning, drop a comment and let me know. I put some gaffing tape up here just temporarily, just so it doesn't fall to the ground again, but I'll get some, some proper like clips with double-sided tape and that way I could run the wire in better. Pretty clean install. I like that all you see is the power head in the, in the thing. I'm still trying to see if my fish will eat the seaweed from their normal spot. I think it might be too close, but we'll see what happens. We'll give him some time. Flo over here in the Duncan, he's getting a wild ride. I don't know if he's gonna like it or not. The bubble tip is also moving around quite a lot. We got some flow here on these frog spawns that I can't seem to get to open up better, but we'll see if this helps. Added more flow to my reef tank, to the Red Sea Max 250. Whether it's already broken or not, you know, I don't really know. But I'm gonna need you guys to help me out. I didn't really find a lot of videos on MP10s and the install process and all of that, surprisingly, or maybe I just didn't find them right. I think my fish are still a little afraid of it. I don't know, hopefully they will come around that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. Also, make sure to check out the link in the description for your assaulted merch, fishing merch, all the good stuff. Oh, and last thing, if you guys do run an MP10, MP4E, any of that, what settings do you guys put? I, I, I don't know what to put. It's like, sure, there's a lot of cool settings, but what is prime time setting? What do you wanna put to get the best growth from your reef tank. Drop a comment down below, let me know. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later. Oh, oh.